Hey guys, it's Mike with Real Life Photography. I'm uh, going to do another video uh, edit today, uh, but specifically talk about uh, your your vision for a, a particular photograph and using the appropriate preset for that vision. Uh, <clears throat> I've selected four different photographs, all taken within the last couple of weeks, and uh, I want to talk individually about each photograph and then apply a preset that I think amplifies uh, my vision for that photograph. So we'll start with the first one. This photo is of my, my two sons playing in the bathtub. I really like it. I, I liked the pops of color, um, the the red, the green, the blue. And for that, this particular photograph, I think Agfa Vista uh, 100 would uh, magnify the, the, the color pop a lot a lot better than say some of the other presets so I'm gonna start with Agfa Vista apply it and I'm already liking exactly what the preset did <clears throat> it added a little bit of grain which I'm gonna leave um, it popped the greens popped the blue popped the red uh, the one things that I will tweak just a tiny bit is the magentas I'm gonna drop the magenta a little bit maybe drop the blue just a tiny bit but other than that I think this preset fits this scenario of popping the colors uh, it, it fits it very effectively and, and and makes the photograph I think a little bit stronger than the the straight out of camera next is a picture of my son uh, sleeping in his car seat and you have this soft light coming in from the window uh, and then a gradual fall off into the shadows over on the right hand side. For this this photo, and usually scenarios like this, I tend to use Mastin's Portra 160. And I I like how this is already where this is already going. I think the only thing I would change here, and this could have been done in camera if I would have got my my white balance, my temperature correct, uh, would be to crank up the the warmth just a little bit and now I'm I'm happy with that there's no grain added in in Mastin's preset uh, portrait 160 but you can always add a little bit of grain to taste next is my cousin's daughter I really liked her expression here it was in between poses at a family shoot uh, and for this particular preset or um, photograph I'm sorry I, I kind of want to make these uh, the ground a little bit more orange, maybe mute the yellows a little bit, and give her a little bit more uh, skin tone here. So a little bit more orange, I should say, in her skin tone. And I think the preset that will fit that perfectly will be <coughs> Sven's preset uh, number one. And it did add the, the oranges like I wanted and the browns here. Um, I think it muted the yellows just a little bit. Um, but it did make her face a little bit too orange for me. So for that, I'm just going to drop the oranges just a tad. Just a tiny bit. And maybe raise the shadows just a little bit as well. Now he has a lot of green. Uh, in his presets so I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit just a little bit less green about half I guess uh, I'm not gonna take it into Photoshop to get rid of these scratches but I mean this is a good base to take into Photoshop and lastly is a photo of this is a self-portrait that I did on a hike uh, outside of Lake Tahoe a couple weeks ago uh, we don't have anything like this in Texas. Some people might argue that you have East Texas, which has a lot of piney woods, but uh, nothing with these hills and these gorgeous rocks. So I think for this particular one, I would use LXC01 and maybe up the contrast just a, quite a bit here. And you can see it muted the greens quite a bit, made them more of a minty color. Uh, Vice just being a big vibrant green here and it muted the yellows as well and I think that fits this photograph perfectly 
So that's it. That took us through the four photographs that I selected to kind of show you a different preset on each one. <clears throat> uh, if you if you decide that, or when you're buying presets, you just need to understand that not, no one preset, no one preset pack, if it's VSCO, is probably going to do everything that you want it to do. Um, unfortunately, uh, we we I've spent a lot of money on various amounts of presets. Um, and from those presets or those packs, I might use, I don't know, one or two from each pack. So it kind of sucks. Uh, but hopefully uh, this video will kind of show you, you know, some of the presets as well as show you how I select. Um, sorry about that. How I select a, a preset for a pho photograph anal and how I analyze the, the photograph prior to applying the preset. So I hope you guys enjoy the, enjoy the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Please feel free to follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash rule life photography. Uh, you can also check out my website and there's a nice constructive criticism uh, page on there where you can submit photos directly to me um, and I will, uh, I will edit the photo or give you some critique on your particular photo. And if you would like a video, just uh, it, it's usually easier just to show somebody what I'm doing instead of just shooting them back a uh, an edited photo. So I don't mind doing that as well. So please check out the website. Check out my Facebook page. If you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message on my, my photography page. I hope you guys have a good weekend and happy Veterans Day.